Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create dashboard pages using charts with IronSpeed Designer. Before I show you how to create a dashboard page, I should probably begin by defining what constitutes a dashboard page. Although it is true that what makes a dashboard page a dashboard page is largely in the eye of the beholder, I'm going to define it as a page showing detailed statistical information about multiple records. Let's take a look at this Show Sales Rep Table page. This page and app was generated in a couple of minutes from the sample Southwind application uh, database that is included with IronSpeed Designer. If we look at the resulting page, we can see that it does include lots of vital information about each sales representative, but the lack of inclusion of any meaningful statistical or performance data would prevent me from calling this a dashboard page. Let's see what we can do to spice this page up a little. Now, the one thing that would make this page a lot more useful would be to see, for instance, performance data on the sales representatives. What were their sales totals? Moreover, what were their sales totals by region? Wouldn't that be interesting to know? Well, I'm going to show you how you can display this kind of information. Returning to Iron Speed Designer, let's take a quick look at our database. We took a look at the sales rep table, and here it is, and it has all that information about our sales reps. Let's take a look at our orders table. We can see that it also has a sales rep ID foreign key. And that's what we can use to create our link and display our data. If we go back to the layout editor, we can see that our page has the photo to the left and all that information uh, to the right that we saw over here. What we want to do is let's see if we can insert a chart that shows orders by region for each sales rep. That would kind of transform this into a dashboard page. Let's start by inserting to the right a column then let's select all of these uh, cells and merge them. So now we have a little space to put our stuff. So let's look for the chart. And what we're looking for is the count of, and we'll scroll down until we see orders by. Let's drag that in. There we go. We're going to select a bar chart. I'm going to click Next, and I'm. we have our x-axis. What is it? Uh, it's the orders. Um, what we need to specify is our y-axis. And you can see that count has been selected up there for us because we already specified that before. So we're going to say, yes, give me from orders. Let's look at ship region. So now our Y axis has ship by region. Let's see how that looks. So now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You have not only the sales reps general information, but you have detailed performance information by region. And if we scroll down, you can see uh, some uh, don't have that information because they don't have any orders. Uh, attributed to them, but all the others have the data. I mean, th we can certainly add one more thing. We're not really showing the total orders. We're showing them by region. Wouldn't it be nice to just also just show the total number of orders uh, for that sales rep? Well, that's pretty easy. Um, what we would do in order to do this is go under fields, labels, sums, and counts. And we'll go to count of, and we find orders. And I'm going to drag in orders. And it's creating a data source name. Fine. And we'll accept it. And we'll hit next. And it correctly says, oh, sales rep ID in the sales rep table connects to orders table sales rep ID. Yes, it does. And I hit finish. So this 
that we see in our cell editor, this control that we just created, is going to display the total number of orders. What we need to do is just put a label to the left of that. And let's see how that looks. As you can see, it came out exactly as we wanted it to come out. We could have put that on another uh, area of that record, but you get the idea. Other things, remember that these charts, uh, this chart has many properties within Iron Speed Designer that you can play with. Uh, if you highlight that chart, everything from the tooltip text to the title of the chart to the colors can be changed within the property window of the order count chart control that we generated. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information, you could visit logicaldevelopers.com or visit the knowledge base or forums at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.